And welcome back. We've made it to Friday morning. Long summer weekend day here at Newswatch 12. We'll be live here later on today. The key word there will be weather permitting because we're going to have some issues with the weather. And we're already starting to see some now. But before we get there, let's start with the storm reports. So from yesterday, we had plenty of storm reports yesterday with plenty of hail and gusty winds being reported. We'll zoom things into a few of these from yesterday. McNaughton saw trees down and Springstead over in Price County saw close to one inch hail and one one inch hail is considered severe criteria. Other areas down toward the south saw hail close to one inch, like in Nutterville, and then trees being reported down on wires and Rothschild. But as we do move things forward, you can see we do have a lightning bolt now starting to show up across parts of Price County. There's more showers and even a few rumbles of thunder now starting to develop. So we'll zoom things in and give you a little bit more of a closer look. And that's kind of what we're seeing right now. Everything's starting to track off a little bit to the southeast. So we'll zoom the radar out and throw it into motion for you right now. This is just now starting to develop within the last few minutes. So probably be those showers again now will develop, maybe rain themselves out before the main action starts to develop later today with the daytime heating along the stationary front and then a cold front that'll arrive later on this afternoon. Now it'll bring us some more intense thunderstorms and it's already causing some severe weather in Minnesota. Severe thunderstorm warnings for those areas right now. Again, 60 mile an hour wind gusts and that thing is weakening right now, but we will have to watch for more development later on today with the daytime heating and the sunshine. We have sunshine now, so plenty of fuel for the fire already starting to accumulate. Visibilities are pretty good right now. We were watching for fog earlier, and you can see there's some areas that are seeing fog, but for us, we're looking pretty good. However, temperatures right now in the 60s in Rhinelander and a narrow 67 degrees in Wausau. Not too bad, but we are going to be watching temperatures shooting up into the upper 80s again today. Before we cool off just in time for the weekend and end of next week, the humidity levels will remain low until Wednesday and Thursday. But meanwhile, though, again, dew points are right where the temperatures are. So if you have a piece of paper outside like I do, it's probably soaking up some of that moisture. So it's kind of moving a little bit more than it should for a typical piece of paper. But again, you're muggy meter we get past today everything starts to drop off as the cold front begins to move through so things starting to look better then we might have a quick shoot up sunday to monday in the humidity levels but overall things will be improving compared to what we've been seeing over the past few days Fuel for the fire is the key word there with large hail and high winds possible today with, with heavy rain. With a marginal risk for severe weather, a one out of five. Storms have really gotten their act together over the last few times, so we'll need to watch things again. The tornado risk is low. However, it is not zero, so keep an eye on that. We'll be watching for showers and storms developing along that stationary front again before we watch the cold front approaching by around 5 o'clock into Wisconsin. And then by around 6 to 7 o'clock, it will move through and then start to get out of here. And then, then things will begin to improve from there. But you get the general idea the afternoon is going to be sketchy today with those showers and thunderstorms possible. Some of those may be severe with highs in the upper 80s and southeast wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Overnight tonight, scattered showers and thunderstorms. Again, they will begin to taper off. Lows in the lower 60s and at south wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And that Northwoods furniture and mattress seven-day forecast. Just in time for the weekend, things begin to improve. Monday, we're looking pretty good. And then humidity levels rise again by Wednesday and Thursday.